refers to the people in the orchestra as his or her colleagues, not his or her subordinates. Um, so just being ready all the time. It's, it's really, the, the, the work is not, the hard work is not really here. It's in, it's in uh, learning the material, preparing myself to rehearse it with them, and to always know as much as I can about everything that we play. Because it's not just pop, it goes to do a lot of classical music. And that takes a lot of time and energy to learn and, and uh, to master. I mean, not necessarily master the performance, but to know as much about it as I can. If, to give myself as much information and be informed about a piece of music, um, its history, why it was written, who inspired it, those things inform one's performance. And that's the hardest part, I think, is all the study and all the reading that I have to do. How often do you rehearse? <clears throat> it depends on the project. Um, we don't have a set schedule. Um, our schedule depends on what we have to do. For example, um, for for today's performance, we assign uh, one rehearsal this afternoon. Um, tomorrow um, will be something else. I mean, for the next week, we're doing a whole bunch of uh, activities for other other projects. So it's always related to a project. I mean, for the Richard Banking concert, we have already started rehearsing because the material is so difficult and so lengthy. Uh, I mean, the Brahms Symphony Number no. One is almost an hour long, so it's a, it's a lot of music. So uh, it all depends really on the, on the project. We assign a, a certain number of rehearsals for any given performance. Hey, well, oh, you've mentioned your two kids, Kalina. So um, um, early as now, um, nagpapakita na rin po ba sila ng interest in music? Yes, um, our son has been studying piano. Nakapag-resalta na siya. Um, our daughter, Right now, he's singing Let It Go 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> um, she's in tune, uh, which is pretty good. Um, and she's very, very brave. My mom made her sing. We were in Resorts World for my mom's birthday. We were there in the Dutsan Maxim's Cafe, in the bar. And my mom and my sister said, Come and sing. She just belted the song. She just doesn't care who's around. And my mom's like, Ah, this one. I recognize that. Uh, uh. <laughs> so, yeah, she's very. Brave and very strong. Our son is very serious and very sort of cerebral and more of an introvert, but he enjoys uh, playing the piano. It's a solitary activity. He likes that. He, just, he can play it whenever he wants. He practices, and he's becoming quite good. Uh, Gerard. Yes, ma'am. Gusto kong tanong eh. Ano ba yung third conductor? Um, probably, because music has always been very important to me. The only difference would be that she gave me a way into the industry. Um, I probably would have still done it, but had to take a, do it a different way. Even, I would have had a very different entrance probably into it. Um, my first conducting job was with Rep. And of course, how did I know Rep? It's because Leia was with Rep. Um, but I still probably would have studied music because music was taught to us before she became famous. You know? If she had chosen to become a doctor, Alibaba, the she was in pre-med when they came with the visions of Miss Saigon. If she had gone on to that, I probably would have still become a musician. It would have been a very different set of circumstances. I'm not sure I would have been able to study abroad because she paid for my tuition in the States. Um, I don't know if I would have had uh, the ease of entry into the industry that I did. But um, regardless of all of that, I still have to prove myself. I still have to do the work. Uh, otherwise, I would have never gotten a second chance. I mean, she wasn't going to give me a second chance if I didn't do well. Uh, she made that very, very clear. OK, I paid for your school. Ah, I'll give you your first shot. If you screw this up, it'll be your last. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I still had to roll up my sleeves. <laughs> And work. Uh, because there's no, no, um, what's this? No surname, no blood relation will write the notes for you or play the notes for you. You still have to play them yourself. Ah, uh, parang hindi ang usual for siblings to quarrel. You argue. Kung nalawa kayo ni Laya, 
I live in Gundal, don't forget that. Come on, come on. Yeah, I can't remember the last time before. I honestly cannot. Um, I don't know, it was probably, what, 15 or 20 years ago. Um, it was, there was a, there was, uh, we were still living together in the same house, and uh, there was a bothersome fan who kept calling and calling and calling. So my mom and I naturally became very paranoid and very good. We put our protection mode on. One time, um, the phone rang. I answered it, and she picked up. And I yelled at her, put that goddamn phone down, you know? You're not supposed to have no phone. And she got very hurt, you know, by it. So I bought flowers, and I, I, I gave her a card telling her why. It was on the same day, of course. So I was in my room. She comes in with a card, she's crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, um, situations that we cry a lot in the family. We're all, we're all a bunch of uh, crybabies. Well, that, that's the last time that I recall having an argument or even a, of, of any kind. It was a long time ago. I was still in college. And, and she had just come back from ladies or something like that. It, it was in the 90s, in the mid-90s. So, 20 years ago. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. Hey, Donut, I'm Donut.